Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. My name is Diana. I am the Client Success Manager with Addicted to ROI's Inner Circle. And today I have with us one of our Inner Circle members, Kazi Green. Hey, Kazi, how's it going? Hi, good. Thank you so much for having me. This of is going to be fun. <laughs> Where are you calling in from today? Uh, I'm in Snohomish, Washington, um, on our six acre little farm. And uh, yeah, in our in our converted barn, which is the background. It looks beautiful. I wish my house oh. looked like that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> awesome. And I'm calling in from New Hampshire. I just moved into the fourplex that my boyfriend and I are house hacking, which is also super exciting. That is awesome. And you just got back from a vacation, right? Yep. We've done more traveling this summer than I think we've ever done. Just put, uh, geez, 1,300 miles on our motorhome in two weeks with the kids. So that was also entertaining. So <laughs> they learned how to uh, navigate a motorhome while going down the freeway mm -hmm. to use the bathroom. So that was fun. <laughs> Hopefully not a lot of messes. No, uh, no, lots of messes, lots of messes. That's a guarantee. So, How old are your kids? I've got a seven-year-old and an almost five-year-old. She's going to be five the end of the month. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. That you're able to take the time this summer to travel with them. Yeah, yeah. We've taken them to Arizona to our short-term rental for two weeks and then um, did the road trip. And we were actually exploring... Um, other properties in Idaho and Montana and other areas mm -hmm. to look to invest. Mm -hmm. So, so we'll, you so we'll be writing off the trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Work trip, travel around the U.S. Why not? Yeah, exactly. So what does your current portfolio look like? You are living in Washington. You invest in Washington as well? Yes, that's correct. So we are currently in um, Snohomish on our property that we're going to eventually build a house. Um, we're trying to think of ways actually, and then we'll turn this barn into a short term rental. So mm -hmm. we'll have a short term rental here after we build. Uh, we've got two other single family homes in um, Mill Creek. One mm -hmm. um, that I bought 20 years ago, forever ago. <laughs> And then um, another one that was bought about 10 years ago, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So they are um, doing fantastic with equity right now. And um, the best part about those two are the wonderful tenants. So we have, we've really lucked out. Um, however, we are very low on rent on one of them. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem we've got is they are so fantastic that we can't keep mm -hmm. jacking the rent up. We're about seven to eight hundred dollars below market rent on one of them, so that's hard to swallow. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So those are our Washington properties, and then um, we have a couple of properties in Milwaukee. So we've got uh, three duplexes in Milwaukee and a fourplex in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. And then our favorite one is our short-term rental in Arizona, in Surprise, Arizona. That's awesome. So that makes for six properties, seven properties total? Uh, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight, including eight. one year in. Our house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. So you had joined the Inner Circle about two years ago, right? Yeah. About before two years. the Inner Circle, had you invested out of state before? Oh, heck no. No way. <laughs> There's no way I would ever have thought of investing out of state. I thought that was um, the most crazy idea. How would you ever take care of a property in Milwaukee from Snohomish? So um, no, no, I didn't do any of this until I had um, actually the biggest push from Cody Touche. So I should probably thank him because he's really pushed us in the beginning to get into this. And yeah, joined the inner circle and started meeting people and, um, and then jumped into Milwaukee. That's kind of how that whole thing happened very fast. It went very fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome that you're able to gain that momentum. What do you feel really helped push you that quickly after joining? Well, um, to be honest, I wish I had gone a bit slower. Um, we bought 
five properties in Milwaukee. I want to say it was like a six week period that we bought five properties. And um, it was a hard time for me with the kids. So kids were young. I was busy with my own work and we had this chunk of money that needed to be spent. So after purchasing one, I thought, well, this is not so bad. Let's just keep rolling with it. And I bought the, you know, we bought the next four very fast after that. And since then we have sold one of them and looking to sell another, uh, another one, possibly another two, because in the end I did not do my due diligence properly. Mm -hmm. And I probably wouldn't have bought, I'd say at least three of the five. So mm -hmm. Lesson learned on that one. Um, Jennifer's due diligence lists are uh, really important to follow. And had I followed them, I probably would have been saved on a couple of these. So good news is, is they still are, um, I mean, they've still appreciated some and they do have a little bit of equity in them. So we're not gonna come out at a loss, but we're coming out with the knowledge and um, able to buy in uh, a different manner. Not so shotgun, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> good to learn lessons and at least it didn't really cost too much. Yeah, it's costed my time, which is can't get back, but I guess the knowledge is is there. So that's been good. And I feel like also being part of the inner circle, though, you have access to the community where everyone else also has other experiences that you can share or learn from. And now you have some to share as well. Yeah, for sure. It's been um, that part of it has been so helpful because I was really hard on myself for the mistakes that I've made for my family. And then I come to find out a lot of other people, you know, share the same problems that I've had and um, the support is great. So I've just changed our strategy in Milwaukee. Um, I'm a lot more hands on than I was at the beginning. So um, that's actually brought a lot more income, believe it or not, because I'm able to watch things a bit closer and I manage all of our maintenance now. And um, I'm starting to take on um, possibly the properties one by one, and I'll just fully manage them from Washington. So I'm already one. Mm -hmm. I have one fully under my name here now. Um, the other three are still under management. Sounds like property management might be in your future then as a future company. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I can handle some single family homes in Washington, but that's about it. <laughs> You guys do have your own company now, right? Yeah, yeah. My husband, um, he started a general contracting business. So we're mm -hmm. we're general contractors. Um, we've handled some flips uh, for our friends and members of the inner circle to their rentals in Washington. So he's um, he's flipped those. And also it's just been a help for, um, you know, meeting with other members of inner circle and going and looking at uh, possible um, either rehab properties or flip properties that he could do as a, a team with members of the group. So mm -hmm. we've not had any of those connections until the inner circle. It's been really cool to meet, um, like, especially Nick, he's been a good, good influence on us. And just to push us, like, let's go look at this, you know, you're a general contractor. Now you've got, he's got so many skills and abilities that it's so easy for him to just, okay, sure. Let's flip this. So there's a lot more we need to tap into. We just really need to get these kids back in school so we can have some freedom. Um, yes. And then probably stop traveling would be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's awesome that you've been able to tap into the inner circle to build a community and connect and partner with people to help yeah. bring these ideas to fruition. Yeah, I've never been one for partnering, but it makes so much sense because everybody has so many different experiences that they can help push you in that direction and and do things that you would never think of doing and exploring things you've never thought of like uh, adult family homes like there's no way i would ever even considered any of that but um yeah it's it's been really great to have this community and i lean on it a lot and people are so giving in it just numbers and prices of things and how much things cost it's that was the most shocking part of the inner circle to me is everybody's just an open book and they're willing to just share like this cost me this, this 
is how much I put into this and this is what I make on it. And it's been so helpful, I think, just to have everybody's open book and willingness to help. So mm -hmm. super fan of the inner circle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really fun too when people post, okay, what would you do with this amount of money in this amount of time yeah. frame? You get some really yeah. creative ideas. Yeah, I agree. I think those are fun, um, fun games. And I like to read all those comments too, because I'm like, oh, I would never have thought of that. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are some fears that you had with investing out of state? Um, well, obviously the biggest fear was not being able to see what we're purchasing. So we still have never been to Milwaukee. We um, have owned there for a year and a half and we've, we've never been there. So that's a big fear. Um, and then another big fear for me was finding the right team to help manage and, and really be truthful. Um, I'm finding that in a lot of our our, our properties right now, I'm, I'm actually struggling quite a bit in Arizona with our short-term rental, with people taking advantage of, we're not there to really confirm that the landscaper did the landscaping work, or this property is in a good neighborhood in Milwaukee, you know? So those were big fears and, um, and, and just learning how to overcome those and find people to trust and really hard. Um, and that's actually one of my biggest lessons is I'm way too trusting. I believe if you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. And that's not always the case. So really just finding your people has, has helped and finding the people that will look out for you and will go in the middle of the night to go fix something or do something. And building those relationships has been um, the way to kind of overcome those for us, I think. Mm -hmm. I feel like I remember seeing that some of the members too, like, because our members are so spread out, is you can call on someone who lives locally and have them check out something for you, which is really nice. Everyone is willing yeah. to help each other out. Yo, for sure. That's the coolest part about it, you know? And I even, I always mention that to people, hey, I'm in Snohomish. If you need anything, let me know. <laughs> or um, we've made connections just with Arizona. And um, when we go down there, we'll help other people. You know, we'll let them know, mm -hmm. hey, we're going to Arizona. If you need us to do a Costco run for toilet paper, let us know. Mm -hmm. and so it's, yeah, it's it's super cool. It's a really awesome community just to grow, you know, grow your business and your income. Do you think you could have found your deals without having joined the inner circle? Definitely not. No, I would, I now... Um, by the tools that have been given in the, you know, with the calculators and um, the, the analysis of the deals and the um, due diligence lists and all of that, I'm far more equipped. But no, I, I would not have, you know, felt comfortable looking at a short term rental in Arizona without my now calculator that I know I can put the numbers in and and look at it and go, no, this doesn't work especially with interest rates where they're at, for example, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, there's the tools have helped so much that there's, I, I doubt it would have been at all. You know, I, I mean, I probably would have navigated through it, but it definitely wouldn't have been as easy. <laughs> yeah. The calculators have definitely saved me a lot of time when taking a look at different properties instead of spending hours analyzing, you can just yeah. plug it in and be in and out real quick. <laughs> I love, I love Excel. I'm addicted. So I have a lot of Excel sheets everywhere, <laughs> but it's also fun to, you know, that's one of my favorite parts of the month is to go, you know, get all the mortgage statements and put them all in and, and the mortgage balance is down to this, but the rent is up to this. And what's, what did the numbers calculate mm -hmm. to? It's really fun to update the spreadsheets monthly. You prefer to do your property management in Excel versus using like QuickBooks or Stessa? Yeah, so I really do like everything in Excel. Um, we're running my husband's business on QuickBooks. So I'm being forced to learn QuickBooks. So I may be a fan at some point and, and move everything over. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of old school. I like my Excel. <laughs> yeah. If you were to start over, what would you do differently? You mentioned you had bought your first property 20 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have started buying a lot, a lot, a lot of properties at the beginning for sure. But I didn't know how, you know, I thought, 
I thought I had to buy a property, live in it for two, three years, get a couple roommates, you know, I bought before I was married. And, and so, you know, get a couple roommates, get them in there and then leave them there, turn it into a rental, report it on taxes after a year, and then maybe get another one. So yeah, I wish I had learned a lot of these strategies far sooner. We would be in a much different place if we had started a lot sooner. Um, yeah, I think that would have been the only, th yeah. And buy bigger, I guess. Hmm. I kind of wish we had bought, you know, a six, six or eight doors instead of duplexes. But um, I guess the numbers have worked out well on the duplexes. So yeah, I, I don't know. I guess bought more sooner. I wish we would have mm -hmm. bought faster, <laughs> earlier, younger. Yeah. younger. There we go. <laughs> So then what would you say to someone who's stuck on the fence or has analysis paralysis? Analysis paralysis. How would you um, encourage them to take action? Well, I mean, you just got to start analyzing deals. And once you start plugging things into those calculators over and over and over, you start to see and, and you can start to recognize that the price needs to be roughly this amount in order to pop pop numbers the right way. I mean, you just really have to start doing it. You've got to just start messing with the calculators and seeing how they work. And mm -hmm. I think that's got to be the first step. And then reaching out to people. I mean, call anybody in the group or message anybody in the group. And I know so many people would be so willing to help. Yeah. I love hearing the stories of members meeting up for coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In person. yeah, that's really fun, too. And I like the meetups. Those are super fun. I'm excited for the next one. Yeah, you're going to be heading to the one in a few weeks um, with Mike Appleby, right? That's right. I That guy is a bundle of knowledge. I, I can't tell you how many times I've called him and leaned on him for SOS help, Mike, what do we do? He's, he's a genius mm -hmm. in the title world and land development world. Yeah, he's he's a wealth of information and lots of information and ties with the county. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's, he's going to be a great, um, a great guest to go listen to and watch. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, we host a monthly meetup in Bothell, Washington. Next month we'll have Mike Appleby joining us going over some title and escrow things that you might need want to know. So make sure to look out for that information on our page. And then before we wrap things up, I just wanted to ask one final question. What is your why? Why do you work so hard in real estate? The why is because we uh, want to be financially independent as soon as possible. So we want to work for fun. We want to, you know, go sell a house for fun, not because we need to put food on the table. We And my mm -hmm. husband wants to, you know, pick and choose. He wants to remodel a house that's a, you know, a fun project or build a house for a fun project. And um, yeah, it's just really to build a lifestyle that we can just leisurely do the things we want to do and enjoy it that way. And then we want to also leave a, a huge footprint for our kids. So mm -hmm. we, we have them very involved in our rentals and they know that they have to work and they have to help flip things and pick up garbage and pull weeds. And so we want to show them, um, you know, the benefits of real estate so that they're interested in it at a really early age. And our son already is thinking I'm taking over dad's company and um, I'm hoping my daughter wants to take over real estate. And then we just put our hands up and say, thanks. <laughs> that's so awesome. our, yeah, that's our why is, is our kids and, and really just to enjoy life. Mm hmm so that you can continue taking two week trips all over the place. Yeah, yeah, two weeks and then 10 days home and then another two weeks. And then I think we're home for two or three weeks and we're leaving again, so. Where yeah. are you headed next? We're just going on another camping trip in the motorhome over Eastern mm -hmm. Washington for a while. And yeah, just heading out, so <laughs> really cool. That sounds awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear about your next trip. Thank you so much for joining me today. If anyone has any questions, Kazi is a member of the ROI Inner Circle, and we have lots of other members that are also open for questions and always willing to help. Let us know if you need anything, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your week. 
Thanks, Kazi. Yeah, I'm always uh, always available to help. I really am. That's a big deal. So anytime. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.